For the second part of the absolute value functions lesson, we're going to take a look at quadratic functions as opposed to linear functions we did in the last case. So for the starting example, we're going to consider the functions where f of x is equal to x squared minus 3 or the absolute value of x squared minus 3. So we can solve for the values of x squared minus 3 to begin with, and we're going to say, well, if I have negative 4 squared minus 3, it's going to give me 13. Negative 3 squared minus 3 is going to give me 6. And then I'm going to get 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2, 1, 6, and 13. When I'm taking the absolute values of these, it's the same as in the linear case. If they're positive, the absolute value of a positive number is the same. The absolute value of a negative number is going to become the positive version of that number. So we can see that the numbers are the same in the positive areas, but they're going to be different as soon as my original function becomes negative. Then I'm going to sketch these out. So I'm going to say, well, for my original function, I would have negative 4 and 13. up here, negative 3 and 6 is going to be here, and negative 2 and 1, negative 1 and negative 2, zero and negative 3, 1 and negative 2, 2 and 1, 3 and 6, and 4 and 13. And here's my original function. For my absolute value function, it's going to be the same where they were positive. But then as soon as it becomes negative, it's going to become a reflection across the x-axis. So when I'm stating for which characteristics of the two graphs similar and which are they different? Well, I can state that the graphs are the same when f of x is positive. and different or reflections when f of x is negative. When we say for what values are they the same or what values are they different, well obviously the reflection is going to start right after those x-intercepts. So the first thing I need to do is figure out, well what are those x-intercepts? So when I'm finding the x-intercepts, I'm going to state, well, the x-intercept is when y is equal to zero. So I can use my original function and say that if f of x is equal to zero, 
then I can state that 0 is equal to x squared minus 3, which means that 3 is equal to x squared, or positive or negative, the square root of 3 is equal to x. So I have two cases. This is going to be the positive square root of 3 here. This is going to be at the negative square root of 3 back here. So for x's less than or equal to negative root 3, which is going to be this region in here, and x is greater than or equal to the positive square root of 3, which is going to be this region in here, f of x and g of x are going to be the same. When it's between those two points, in this region here, so, for when negative root 3 is less than x, which is less than 3, g of x is going to be a reflection or negative f of x. If you could sketch the graphs using two quadratic functions, what would they be, and are there any restrictions? Well, this is just asking us to do our piecewise function, like in the last case. So if I have g of x is equal to the absolute value of x squared minus 3, I'm going to split it into the two cases. I'm going to say that it's going to look like the original version, x squared minus 3, if x is less than or equal to negative 3 or greater than or equal to, sorry, square root of negative square root of 3 or x is greater than or equal to square root of positive 3. It's going to look like the negative version negative of x squared minus 3 if the negative square root of 3 is less than x, which is less than the positive square root of 3. If I'm looking at the domain and range of these, well, I'm going to state that for f of x, the domain is going to be x where x e r, and the range is going to be y where y has to be greater than or equal to negative 3, where y e r. And I'm going to state that for g of x, the domain is going to be x where x e r, and the range is going to be y where y has to be greater than or equal to 0, where y e r. So really, just like in the last case, it's only the range that changes. The domain is going to stay the same.